So let me ask you a question. Every now and then, a person or company comes along and disrupts current technology, right? It disrupts the way we all do something, and they all take us to the next level. So whether that's to go faster, get stronger, be smarter, heal faster, whatever it is, it helps us all. So just think of some innovators, uh, maybe some companies of the past who have truly disrupted industry, created technology, products that helped humanity, changed the quality of our lives forever. Albert Einstein, <laughs> absolutely, right? Electricity, the guy's a genius. But who else can you think of that truly disrupted industry? Microsoft, absolutely, probably up in the number one. Or is it Apple with the iPad and the iPhone? You be the judge. Then we have Airbnb that's come around the corner. They have flipped the hotel industry upside down, and so has Uber. Just continuous changes all the time. Um, Tesla, not Nikola Tesla, but Tesla the company is chasing the automobiles right now. And one of the true disruptors uh, as a man of his time is the founder and Elon Musk. So just think of innovators and companies of the past who have needs. Let's take a look at some of those inventions that have just got better over time. First flight, Wright Brothers. I'm sure that was an awesome day right there, but if I was heading somewhere right now, I think I'd rather be in today's private jet. The old phone, Alexander Graham Bell. Maybe that's a phone. Or today's new cell phone. I know what they can do. I know we're all looking at them you know, 90% of the time during the day. That's pretty clear, grabbing what is better for today. We have the outdated computer or a new age laptop. So which would you rather work on? You got a big project right now. Of course, I'd take the laptop too. I'd rather be on the beach, sitting there with my feet kicked up and feeling the breeze. So now we have the outdated therapy, the CPM or continuous passive motion machine. Phenomenal product back in its day. Um, for those of you that might not know, knee surgeries, um, this day and age, total knee replacement, um, the CPM machine, the idea would be to uh, hook yourself up to this, it moves your knee around, gets it moving sooner than later. So that's the outdated yesterday, and then now today we have the new age therapy, the TKR2000 total knee rehabilitation machine, and that is been created by medical engineering. Uh, what they do is designs in motion. There's a couple little clips of the TKR 2000 there. But that's what we're here to talk about today. So I'm gonna give you a brief introduction to how the TKR 2000 functions and why we have had such great results. And then I'm gonna let the physical therapy doctor and patients tell you how it works and what type of results they've seen and what you can expect too. Yeah, the CPM or continuous passive motion machine is the old technology that the TKR2000 is retiring. The CPM machine did its job back in the day, but it was determined that most people guarded when using that system. Since the machine would move on its own, the patient would tense up in terms of muscle guarding and typically live a painful experience that was not conducive to increasing their range of motion or helping them in the healing of their knee injury. With the TKR2000 by Medical Engineering, the patient is in complete control of their own progress, so they can be completely relaxed. They are trained and shown how to use a simple handheld controller that moves very slowly up and down as you can see, only when the patient chooses to move their leg up and down. Therefore, a very relaxing stretching movement designed to break up or down scar tissue and increase their range of motion which we have found is directly related to returning to their quality of life. The TKR2000 was designed out of necessity. The founder of the TKR2000 had knee trouble for the last 30 years, only to end up needing a total knee replacement near the end of 2014. You can read all about his story at medicalengineeringllc.com. Lucky for Mr. Banks and lucky for you today, his background's in mechanical engineering. Now, he could have just sat down and accepted his fate. He could have given up on his dreams. No one should ever give up on their dreams, and you shouldn't give up on your dreams either. Where there's a will, there's a way. Instead, he worked closely with his surgeons and his physical therapists and designed the TKR2000. It was not until inventing the knee machine and using it to rehabilitate his own knee that he regained his range of motion. 
while alleviating the pain in his knee. So it is with 100% certainty that TKR2000 increased his range of motion. And not only is he living a normal life, you'll find him mountain biking in the hills in his pastime. Now I can sit here all day and tell you how life-changing our total knee rehabilitation machine is, but I'd rather just let you hear it from our satisfied patients and doctors. So now we're heading down to get first-hand information from a doctor who's been using the TKR2000 on some of his knee injury patients. Now before I bring on the doc, I really need to give a proper introduction. Dr. Ray Mojares attended San Diego State University where he earned his bachelor's degree. He then went on to receive his doctorate in physical therapy from Loma Linda University. While studying at Loma Linda, Dr. Mojares worked at an important brain and spinal cord injury facility located in San Diego's North County. He has interned and worked throughout Southern California's finest physical therapy facilities. These facilities included Fountain Valley <clears throat> Regional Hospital, Casa Colina Centers for Rehabilitation, and various manual-based physical labor facilities that focus on sport-specific rehabilitation. Dr. Mahades has been a member of the American Physical Therapy Association since 2001. Now, Dr. Ray's background is of obvious importance, as his credentials speak for themselves. However, what is equally important regarding the talk we're about to have is the fact that he has a TKR2000 total knee rehabilitation machine on premise at his location and office Perpetual Motion Physical Therapy in Temecula, California. He's been kind enough to invite NBA, that's Media Broadcasting Agency, down for a formal interview. This is what has been so exciting because he's using this new age knee machine to help his patients which is what we're about to hear about. He told me they nicknamed the machine the rack because all his patients stand around it because they want to be the next one to use it. So we came down here to Perpetual Motion Physical Therapy in Temecula, California to talk with Dr. Ray Mahades. Is that correct? Uh -huh. That's correct. Mahades. Well, nice to meet you, Dr. Ray. Um, came down to kind of talk about what you do here and uh, all the different patients that uh, you go through. So tell us a little bit about your background. Um, well, I've been practicing for 13 years, I'm 14. I established my practice 11-11-11, uh, November 11, 2011, so over six years now, or going on six years. Um, we deal with a, a, a whole slew of orthopedic issues from total knee replacements to ACL reconstructions to lower back issues, um, shoulder pathologies, hip and neck, um, anything, anything and everything. As far as patients, um, we see anybody that's um, that's active or non-active. Um, the slew of individuals that we see are, are military, current, and ex or retired military, um, from special forces, snipers, to um, desk workers from moms. Um, we have Collegiate 1, the Division 2 uh, athletes that have uh, come in and um, we help to um, increase performance um, to judges, to doctors, to lawyers, a um, whole slew of individuals. Gotcha. And, and within that, I would assume many of those um, are knee injuries as well? We, we, we see our first share of, of knee injuries from, again, from total knee replacements to meniscectomies to uh, chondromalacia, anything and everything that can go ahead and cause dysfunction or pain into the knee we see. Okay. So would you say that a patient's ROM or range of motion is directly related to their quality of life? Oh, absolutely. Without a doubt. There's uh, so many what we call compensatory actions. So when a person does not have the range or the mobility, they'll, they'll do everything and anything they possibly can to um, provide any type of uh, movement, uh, no matter how dysfunctional it is, but that will go ahead and lead to other dysfunctions or pain, pain in the lower back and the ankle, other appendage, etc. So um, getting them to where they were before the injury is absolutely key and range of motion is one of these um, cornerstone things we deal with on a daily basis to achieve. 
And, and then would you say that increasing that range of motion actually benefits their recovery time as far as jumping in quickly, getting them into what you do for them? No question. Um, no question. No question. Um, I, I can't emphasize enough how range of motion is one of these things that, that any individual from the Division two athlete to the grandma who just wants to go and walk uh, with her friends or enjoy their family time. Range of motion is key. So, so after a knee injury or, or some sort of knee surgery to, to fix the knee injury, I know we talked a little bit about scar tissue earlier, but what, what's actually going on in the knee when it's kind of frozen up and, and what you need to break down to fix it? That is a million dollar question. It, taking care of scar tissue. Scar tissue is one of these entities that develop and everyone has it. And some individuals can go and score, um, produce more scar tissue than others. And that's, that's where the difficulty lies. Um, molding scar tissue a certain way so it's, it's as good as the original or functional. Um, scar tissue is a, is a very fibrotic material and if not treated the right way it can limit the movement so severely that it will start to affect the quality of life through increasing pain, decrease in strength or a combination of that. Okay, so it sounds to me like we need to get that knee moving right away. Correct. And I know one very important piece of equipment that you're using uh, down here at Perpetual Motion Physical Therapy uh, for your patients to rehabilitate is the TKR2000 uh, unit created by Medical Engineering. Um, have you been using that for, for a while now? Uh, we have. We've been very successful uh, in its use. Um, to, to do other things um, to extend and to dynamically or to st statically stretch the knee out into its cardinal planes into flexion um, or into extension to get the fibers moving the right way um, is absolutely key. Uh, it's great that we can have we can have the 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 patient be active in treatment. Um, the machine has a uh, a switch where it can be uh, manipulated to any angle that we want, either full flexion, full extension, and we give that. If a person is apprehensive about getting to that end range, we simply hand that device to that individual and they are telling me how much they can go ahead and handle. And if we can go ahead and do a little bit more than that, then it's up to them. It's within their tolerance, it's not within ours. Gotcha, gotcha. Now I, I did a little research myself on medical engineering, which is also a Temecula, California company. And it appears their passion is to engineer equipment that help patients who have been injured recover to their fullest potential and restore that quality of life that they lost due to that injury. So what can you tell me about your patient's progress? Um, do you have some patients, how many patients say in the last three, four, or five months have you um, had utilized with success the TKR2000? Um, quite, there's an ex ex exciting and extensive set of individuals that I have gone through the same protocol, um, one of which is, if I can um, be a little bit more descriptive, he is a uh, stuntman, current stuntman. He's, he's actually undergone a total of 36 or 37 surgeries in his lifetime. Uh, he was in here for two total knee replacements. Um, he was an avid uh, motocross uh, enthusiast. Um, and did a lot of stunt work for Spider-Man movie, for a film that's just coming out, I'm not allowed to say, um, and uh, a whole slew of other things that uh, he's been a very, very busy individual. Um, but he had to take a um, vacation, if you will, uh, some time off of his work as a stunt uh, stuntman because of the injuries that he's gotten. And we're happy to uh, to uh, report that he's, he's back into um, working again, and you'll be seeing his face in, in the movies pretty soon. Well, and that's that's pretty extreme. Yeah. I mean, you take a stuntman uh, that's gone through that many surgeries. Um, if if a unit like this can help with his range of motion, I would expect a normal a normal surgery or something less dramatic. It it definitely can can be a solution for folks. 
Um, now that you've used that for for a little bit, um, would you consider this a necessary piece of equipment in a rehabilitation center? Essential. I think it is essential, especially if the majority of your, your patients is orthopedic, um, total knee, or, or some type of uh, um, reconstructive or uh, reconstruction surgery onto the knee. I, I think it's a vital tool for you to have. Okay, and then and then if you have some patients that um, can't get in three, four days a week, I don't know what you normally schedule them, mm -hmm. but would you see a benefit if, if medical engineering ever decided to sell the TKR 2000 to the public, to actually have it at home by the TV, um, in addition to what you're providing them uh, with your direction to, to assist with? Well, 100%. 100% is beneficial. Um, we give things like HEPs, home exercise programs, to individuals, and we expect these individuals to perform. They're here twice, maybe even three times a week for about an hour each time. So there, there's a lot of downtime. Scar tissue doesn't, I mean, it likes downtime because it just wants to go ahead and seize up. And the more it seizes up, the more problematic it gets. If they don't keep up with the range of motion that was gained through physical therapy or through um, manipulation here, they'll revert back. Having a system there at home to push them or to at least maintain what we have is, is essentially getting them back to where they were before, no matter what their goals are in life. And, and probably would get them back there quicker with, with the extra stretching. Yes, sir. Well, that's excellent. I don't know if there's anything else you want to add about, uh, about what you do or... Um, we are... We, we, Professional motion physical therapy um, prides ourselves on maintaining a, a close understanding of pulse through through rehabilitation, um, either machinery or techniques. And one of the exciting things to come out is um, uh, the the machine, the KT two thousand. TKR two thousand. TKR two thousand. Right. Um, so uh, we just call it the rack. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, it's just easy for us to go ahead and do. But um, having these, these things like uh, uh, the TKR2000 and also the uh, Ultra-G and anti-gravity treadmill shockwave units, things that are innovative and that can help a lot of people that are not in your normal day-to-day -day outpatient um, orthopedic uh, facilities, physical facilities, um, we... we we like to say, hey, we're, we're this little gem within the Temecula Mirada Valley that's um, available for your common individuals. Come on in, we'll help you. Excellent. Well, that sounds great. Uh, let's go take a look at the TKR 2000 in action. All right. We run through and then get another really good measurement like you used to do to me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Okay, cool. Or you want to you measure it on here? Or do you no, want let's measure, measure you here. Okay. So we have, we have uh, kind of a bench on it. Okay. Yeah, I have like yeah. This is this is one of the stiffest, sorest days I've had in a while. I've been really flexible and you know, but all it takes is one hard day of riding, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sore. I'm still sore the next day. Yeah. All right. Now we can get you to ninety pretty close, right? Yeah. And also, I'm a, I have a, I have an odd, or I don't know if it's odd or not, but I'm short waisted and long legged. My leg bones are long, but I'm pretty short from here up. So it's good to have this adjustability for someone that has weird shape. <laughs> yeah, this this is new to me, huh? New uh, new gadgets. New gadgets. And also, uh, having longer legs, you got to make sure you don't bottom out on this bottom piece. Mm -hmm. See, I don't think I'm straight because this leg looks like it's down lower. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Hey, why don't you go ahead and okay. you're pretty familiar with that that procedure there? Okay, you got 125, 126. So, 
I'm seven. feeling most of my tightness is right there in this leg. Okay. This, this right leg feels like it's a little more flexible. It, it, it's, it is more flexible on that side right now. I feel like my feet are bottoming out. But that's pretty, that's pretty, that's, that's far right there. That's, mm -hmm. that's it. Where are we at? 130. Okay. So, hold it for a while. On that, but that's not actually 130. Huh? That's not actually, his legs aren't at 130. You want to take it with a degree and see, like measure his actual knee, like what you see? No, no, it's, it's actually 130. What I do is I, I start from like 90 degrees and I just set that at zero caliber, at the zero, mm -hmm. and I just add it. You know, oh, okay. So you get one, one, 130. Okay. okay. So I figured out. What, do you remember what, I, what was I when I left? I couldn't remember. I think you were like at 128. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was going to say 128 or 129 yeah. or something like that. Uh, and you're zero on your extension, so. Yeah, yeah. But to have this at your disposal every mm -hmm. day to, or every other day to go out and oh, be able to sit that there and we'll crank it. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So if I'll make that bottom seat for you to adjust up. So that okay. some of the longer legs won't touch. Yeah. Because you can pull your feet through there, it'll go past that. They're not bottomed out. Because you can't see it, but because you can keep going if you have to. Straight. Looks like it's picking his hips up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, you gotta yeah. just drop your butt down a little. Back there. Okay. Yeah, right there. 130. 130? Yeah. Two. That's it. This one's a, still tighter than my, uh -huh. than this one. Maybe. It's and, and, and 11 maybe. weeks. This one's 11 weeks newer. Uh -huh. This one, yeah, this one's been, I mean, yeah, this one's been done. It's just, it just had so much more damage in it that it's still, like even you want that little bit, walk a little bit to see if that affected yeah. anything. Yeah. Oh yeah, they, they already feel more more limber than yeah. when I was walking up the stairs here. After I got off my street bike and walked yeah. up the stairs, I was like, oh, I hope he's not, I hope Ray's not looking at me as I'm <laughs> grabbing the handle here. Because they were, yeah, they were, and they're crunchy and the, you know, the morning I, when it, you know, you get up out of bed to walk to the bathroom. Clunk, I, I mean, I can feel the metal. Yeah. Clunk, clunk. And then as you get moving and get blood flow, I guess, or whatever, it, it starts to feel better. But, but it's so much better than it was before the surgery. It's For crazy. Sure. We had a hard time getting in 110. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, if I would come in tomorrow and get measured right off the bat, I would be better, I would be much more uh, uh, flexible than what I was this morning, first off, for sure. You're at 135, 37. So that, that would be my max, what I would do then is back it off to 135 or 134 and then just hold it for a couple minutes, you know. See, so it's so user friendly that you yeah. just hand, oh. hand the, you know, the, the controls to your patient or the individual and they can go ahead and put as much or as little pressure no matter if they're a little apprehensive and you give them the power mm -hmm. of um, how, much, how much pressure it needs to happen or needs to be installed in, in, that, in that flexion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it does make it, it makes it nice to, once you figure it out and you know which way you're going, you know how, you know, I, I can stop the pain yeah. at any time and I can bring it back. I up. can take it more, you know, to what I can take. So you got cleaner at that, but you're at 132, 35 without any problems. You're back to 137. Starting to raise me up a little bit. So I'm going to drop down to, what am I there? Uh, you're 130. Okay. Yeah. 
Good. For you, right there? Yeah. Through 135. So I would hold that right there, because uh -huh. that's, it's painful, it's, uh, it's doable, I can take it, it you but it's enough it, that I'm right? like, wow, yeah. it's, yeah, it's stretching me. Um, it's not excruciating. It, it's moved my pain level up to about a seven. Uh -huh. uh, and then I can even go a little further then once I breathe so into that, into that and then just. And your right side looks like it's just like. Yeah, it's pretty flat. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty not. easy on that one. And then you go, okay, I, you know, and then you yeah, can do sets. Relief, yeah. yeah, you do however many sets. And we did, we kind of changed it up and did uh, different things. Some days I would only do four sets and we'd get yeah. into something else. And other days I did 10 sets uh -huh. and then we'd start something else. So yeah. it's, uh, it's nice to be able to be flexible with it. And sometimes I would like, you know what, I'm just tired of moving it, even though I, ha I was able to go, uh, I was already zero. Mm -hmm. Feels good to do this. Yeah. Well, walk around a little bit. So it feels yeah. like even more. Yeah. So try to put it at five. I right, roll reps in there. Yeah. What do you think about somebody problems like we did yesterday? Resistant. Really? Against it. Like try to hold back on it. Well, that's a technique called contract relax. So that's, that's so if I'm holding against it. Um, so it's good. just stay right there, right? So kick it out as hard as you can. I am. All right. So you're going to hold that for about five about five seconds, mm -hmm. and um, the physiology behind that it allows that muscle to go ahead and relax that much more once you take contraction off. So you should be able to go ahead and get yourself a little bit more, a couple more degrees. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah, that's kind of yeah. cool. I'd like to work with you a little bit on that too. Okay. To, to create a, a yeah. because that um, actually that feels kind of good. Good, good. Yeah, I can I could see that mm -hmm. just even <laughs> lightly yeah. pushing the whole time yeah. it's moving. You did, you're like, hey, yeah, I'll fight against it, push against it as it's going. You know, as it's yeah. as it's coming uh -huh. back, kind of push. Yeah. Yep, yep, fighting against. It. We were talking about that yesterday. Yeah, well, yeah. I just maybe think about that. Yeah. Yeah, it feels good. Yeah, yeah, it definitely loosened me up from what I came in. See, that's the and that's with no, that's without no bicycle, no, without any of the other no stuff. No, 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 yeah, background behind yeah. you, and you know what you've been through, and you've been to, you've had 35 surgeries, so you've been through a lot of physical therapy yeah. sessions, right. and you know what works and what hasn't worked, yeah. and you see people that don't put anything into it, and you yeah. see people that are just busting their butt because yeah. they want to get back to work. Right, right, right. You know, they're not, yeah. they're not just, just uh, phoning it in. So. Exactly. This is such a you know such a great thing for it's helped me you know working with you guys, and I've been to all these you know L.A. and uh -huh. Dallas and big cities. Uh -huh. They don't have anything. I come into our little town, little town to which I love. Little, right, I call it my red, white, and blue little town. We love it here That's so right. much. Yeah. And I come in here and here's this thing, and I'm like, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Cool.